Okay, I'm back for another Game Nexus arcade video for Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate Arcade. And as you can see, just like in our previous video, the uh, all the characters are available from basically every version of this game. And today I thought I would uh, pick one of my characters that I'm good at in Virtual Fighter, so I'm going to actually pick Sarah here. And if you didn't know about the arcade version of Dead or Alive 5, this game was released in uh, December 24th of 2013. I'm no pushover, sweetie. And of course, as you would imagine, it received updates all along, just like the console versions did. In fact, if you didn't see my last video, this game actually got the Marie Rose content before the home version did. And, um, if you haven't played much Dead or Alive 5, no matter what happens, Sarah Bryant always speaks in English. There's no way to change her. Even if you change the audio language, she always speaks in English no matter what. Just like Akira Yuki always speaks in Japanese, you can't change that. But, like, this game is the first time we had seen Virtual Fighter characters since Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown. And, of course, nowadays, as it is uh, early 2023. Know your limits next time. As I was going to say, since it's early 2023 at this point, uh, they have Virtual Fighter 5. Ultimate Showdown, which is an enhanced version of Virtual Fighter 5 running on the game consoles now. But I definitely have to say, whenever I play a Dead or Alive 5, even nowadays, it's so many years since the game was initially released in uh, 2013 on uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 5. I mean, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Wow, just surprising that it's just like so far back now when you think about it, because we have PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, which is a little bit harder to figure out like what generation that belongs to. I guess Microsoft always has trouble counting. But then again, you know, Xbox, Xbox 360, you didn't really expect them to do an Xbox 3. That would have been funny, and I'm sure that would have annoyed a lot of people. But try again in a few years. Then, of course, there was a PlayStation ver uh, PlayStation 4 version of Dead or Alive 5 last round. Ready? And, unfortunately, since this is the arcade version that's based off of the original code of the game, it didn't carry any of the, like, quote-unquote, next-gen enhancements, if you will. So, what you have here is basically what they ported over when they made the PC version, but it's not the quote-unquote, like, next-gen version, as they tended to call it, when they uh, released it on uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as Dead or Alive 5 uh, last round. Which, of course, unlike the PlayStation 3 version, except for Japan, know your limits next time. last round never had a retail SKU. And of course, if for some reason this is the first Dead or Alive 5 uh, Ultimate Arcade video you're watching of mine, I'll make mention that when they included all the updates on this game for last round, they never changed the title. So in essence, Dead or Alive 5 uh, Arcade, Ultimate Arcade is Dead or Alive 5 Last Round Arcade. They just never changed the name, because I guess at this point they didn't see the point of uh, having to change the title screen and push that as an update onto the systems. And if you didn't know, this ran on a little computer which was called the Sega Ring Edge 2 hardware, which was a hardware refresh of the original Sega Ring Edge hardware. And honestly, in power, Ring Edge and Rig Edge 2 are kind of equivalent in power. Try again in a few years. Yeah. 
I'm no pushover, sweetie. Get ready, fight! And I know I always date myself when I'm doing these commentaries, but as of the making of this video, uh, there still is no Virtual Fighter 6. So we're kind of hoping, like, in the year of 2023, we'll get an announcement for Virtual Fighter 6 in the very least. But I know every video that I've made that it's included any Virtual Fighter reference, I've always said we really hope for a Virtual Fighter 6, but we're still kind of waiting. I mean, Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown is kind of nice, but it, it still, in my opinion, uh, has the problem that it's kind of that yet another version of Virtual Fighter 5. And it still doesn't fulfill that we want a new game type thing that we've been looking for forever. But maybe 2023 would be our year. Your limits next time. And I make mention of this in all of my uh, Dead or Life uh, 5 videos. But one thing I really I wish they did in this game me. was they had a proper ending boss. Which... They're... In this arcade gameplay, just like any um, Dead or Alive 5 gameplay, it just ends with any random character. There's no, like, proper ending boss character at the end here. So whatever character the game randomly picked will show up at the end as the uh, last character that you fight. And it'll just be a regular character from the game, nothing special. But, you know... Maybe when uh, Dead or Alive 7 eventually comes out, Arcade Mode will have its proper ending boss character like the first four games did, and it won't just be, oh, well, here, fight eight random characters, and uh, you're just kind of disappointed at the end as there's no, like, Alpha 152, Genra, Tengu, or Raido. Try again in a few years. I mean, this game even had Raido. They could have made him the big bad for the arcade version, but I guess they didn't want to. I'm no pushover, sweetie. And if you've never played Dead or Alive 5, the Virtual Fighter characters, of course, are based off of their Virtual Fighter 5 equivalents. In fact, when they initially did the reveal trailer for the PlayStation 3 slash Xbox 360 version, it did, uh... Dead or Alive 5 cross Virtual Fighter 5, and uh, everyone was kind of surprised because they had made mention of a crossover with uh, Virtual Fighter, but nobody kind of expected it to happen like so soon, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, yep, we're gonna have Virtual Fighter 5 characters in our game. Why not? And not only that, they're gonna be guest characters in the main game. It's not You'll gonna never be. be a match for me. It's not going to be like some lame DLC pack that you have to pay for. Yes. Yes. I'm no pushover, sweetie. Get ready, and then, of course, here is our quote-unquote ending boss character, which is Mila. Because as I mentioned earlier, there are no ending boss characters in Dead or Alive 5 Arcade. It's just um, whoever you happen to get, which in this case we got Mila. But even after all these years, and since this arcade version came out in uh, 2013, even running on its Ring Edge hardware with its GeForce 545 GT card, it still has a great look, and the game still looks really nice, especially if you have a larger screen TV. And of course, if you want to play this on your Xbox One or PlayStation 4, or even Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, since both of them play the old games, you can play that retail version. But this has been another Game Nexus Arcade version, uh, the Game Nexus Arcade video, and I shall see you later. Bye. I just wanna try. Game over!